But then prank shock became real shock, and everyone was really sad and upset about the two actually breaking up and being officially over. <sighs> Not gonna lie, I got a little teary eyed. Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Welcome back to another Caught Up With Kelsey. Get on the couch, get comfy, because we're about to get into it. Kyle's signaling that we forgot a snack of the day. I forgot a snack of the day. This is like the fifth millionth time. What do we have? Cashews. Yum. <laughs> hey, they're not stale, like the popcorn. I don't know if snack of the day is like a good thing because I'm just gonna be eating and talking. I don't think anyone wants to see that. And I'm also gonna be really thirsty. And then you got ocean. There's a whole lot of stuff going on, but Snack of the day is nuts. It's nuts! It's, oh, wow, I did that. Made it funny. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> I personally need to talk about it and get my feelings out because I'm still reeling over Addison Rae and Bryce Hall confirming their relationship. And it's not a Caught Up With Kelsey episode if I'm not talking about yeah. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, I kind of predicted that they were gonna come out and say something soon-ish because the other day Bryce posted a YouTube video on his channel where in one of the videos in like literally the middle of his video, he teased some big news coming from him and Addison. Hmm Bryce, what is this photo shoot for? Because he never said what it was for. And then I was like putting two and two together and I was like, oh my God, they're gonna come out and do something. And then all of a sudden, boom, they posted it on Instagram confirming their relationship. Okay, so basically Bryce tells fans in this video that Addison and him are going to be taking quote unquote some internet breaking photos and what would break the internet other than Kim Kardashian? Bryce and Addison confirming their relationship, of course. And let me just say these pictures basically broke the internet. There were so many pictures. They were in the pool acting all kissy kissy. They were just chef's kiss. And then Addison put out a video onto her YouTube channel called The Truth About Us, where she basically works out with Bryce the whole time while doing a Q&A for fans. And whew, it is not just the gym that is hot in here. No, no, it is this relationship. Man, I'm on fire with my jokes today. They actually revealed how they didn't have feelings for each other initially in the relationship, but according to Addison, they didn't even really talk. Oh, it's another caught up with Kelsey with the sun shining on me because the sun knows. It knows. I need my spotlight and it's here to stay. We're rolling with it. <laughs> they also let fans know about their first impressions of one another. And Bryce thought Addison was hot while Addison thought Bryce was a player, which honestly, I'm not surprised. <laughs> so this is where it kind of got juicy, if you will. So even though Addison had her doubts about Bryce, she did admit she had feelings for him first, which led to that first kiss at that party. Addison then adds, quote, I wouldn't have kissed you if I didn't have feelings for you because that's just how I roll. And then they started doing sit-up kisses. This video was pure Bradison fandom gold. Addison also answered the question we've all been wanting to know is how many times have Bradison actually dated? And the answer is once. So this is actually their second time now. The once before time <laughs> was their infamous three day relationship, which I'm so shocked that they actually confirmed was only three days. So then we all remember soon after that, they had the whole talk in the car and then they put up that thumbs up picture on Twitter. But then Bryce kind of ruined his chance again when he threw his huge 21st birthday party during a pandemic. But then Addison's birthday came around and Bryce won her over by sending her flowers and a sweet note, which we cannot forget because I totally remember those purple flowers and I was like, ooh, something's happening here. And then they both admit in the video that they started dating again on October 13th. So the two laughed and joked and asked fans to wish them luck and Bryce said, quote, seriously, we're gonna need it. Well, Bryce and Addison, good luck to you guys. I'm so happy they're back together. Actually, I'm just more happy, happier that they finally came out and confirmed it all because whew, these, you know, TikToks and photos and cryptic things was getting to me. So, Radisson is back, baby. Okay guys, next story of today, I'm talking about Millie Bobby Brown. I know we haven't heard about her in a while, but guys, she just deleted her TikTok out of nowhere. So I'm getting to the bottom of this. So the TikTok room Instagram account kind of broke the news the other day, sharing that when you search for Millie's account on TikTok, it's no longer available. So we're all speculating what happened? Why did she delete it? Well, she soon after posted on her Instagram story a note providing somewhat of a hint. She said, quote, realizing that surrounding 
surrounding yourself with positivity is the happiest way of living. No hate and only love. Remember to be kind. So a lot of people were speculating maybe she was getting a lot of negativity on the app. So the very next day we actually got kind of confirmation of why she did delete her account. On her Instagram story, Millie recounted when a fan recognized her while out shopping and she said, quote, she said, can I take a video of you? I said, um, no. But why would anyone want to be taking a video of? Of me? It's not like of the both of us. She added, quote, I don't want to justify it to anyone. If I don't want to be taking a video of, I don't have to be. But apparently the fan wouldn't leave her alone. And this is when Millie began to cry on her Instagram story, telling fans, quote, she said, so I can't take a video of a human being? And I said, no. Not when I said no. It just makes me upset when people try to push the boundary and I just wish people were more respectful. She ended her video with a plea to her nearly 40 million followers on the app to be more courteous towards others. So a lot of people put two and two together and thought this is why Millie deleted her TikTok account. She later returned to Instagram to assure fans that she's doing better after the incident writing quote, I'm totally fine now, but was emotional in the moment because I felt uncomfortable and disrespected. Ugh, I can only imagine, I mean celebrities, I get it, they signed up for this. Everyone is, expects them to say yes to when someone wants a photo or a video, but sometimes a girl just needs her privacy. So I totally get it, Nelly. We are here for you, we stand by you. Okay, last story of the day. One that you all requested a lot last week because th it happened literally after I filmed. But guys, I am here to talk about a little late story, but I'm talking about it. Ben and Lexi broke up. I mean, I'm still trying to get over it from last week, but Ben Azelar and Lexi Rivera have confirmed that they in fact broke up. Ugh, another breakup in 2020, what are we doing? They both announced their breakup on their own YouTube channels, but you know, from vlogs to pranks to dates, we've seen them through everything and it's so hard to see the two broken up officially at this point. So the two discussed what happened in the relationship and how their split was a long time coming. Throughout their three year relationship, Ben and Lexi chronicled the ups and downs of their time together. While most of their vlogs were lighthearted in nature, the two shared in their respective breakup videos that they oftentimes made things appear to be perfect for the sake of the cameras. In Lexi's video called We Broke Up, she joked around about the split before confirming that it was true. Oh, he's here to be the comfort dog. Thanks, Ocean, I really needed you. After telling each other that there would always be love and support between them, they got into the reasoning of their split. Lexi explained, quote, so as you guys know, our relationship has been very up in the air. I know that it's been super confusing for you guys, and that is because it's been just as confusing for us. We've been very on and off again, and I don't think we were really sure what we wanted to do until now. That's why we're finally making a video for you guys. Lexi added, quote, obviously we became friends and then that developed into a little more, three years go by, and I think that now we recognize that we were just better as friends. Ben even admitted that things were different for the two when the cameras were not rolling. And quote, I think what's hard is that we want to make you guys happy as well as make us happy. I think ultimately we just didn't do both. The two recognize that, you know, they haven't had time to be independent, which I'm like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Reading all this, I'm just like bringing back all my emotions. So while that happened on Lexi's channel, on Ben's channel, he posted a video about how they told their friends that they broke up. And honestly, from Lexi Hansler to Brent to even Dom Brack, when they told them, everyone was shocked and thought it was a prank. But then prank shock became real shock and everyone was really sad and upset about the two actually breaking up and being officially over. Not gonna lie, I got a little teary-eyed, so. Bexy, I miss you, I want you to come back, but again, I'm really interested to see what's gonna happen after this. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys are feeling the same way because, whew, I have all the feels right now. Okay, shout out of the day goes to Malia. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm so happy that you're reciting the intro of this because sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I forget, like today, I forgot my intro. Get on the couch and get comfy. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below who you want me to talk about next week. Make sure to subscribe to the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel if you haven't already. We are almost at 100K subscribers, so go make sure to hit that subscribe button. And make sure to follow us at Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more. And at Caught Up With Kelsey for more. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!